This week, Dad wraps up the window in the earth bag kitchen, we make a couple more modifications to the aquaponics solar heater, and we visit Kentucky. We're gonna go ahead and land these two together. So that'll be nice for our window sill. We wanna replace one of the windows in that kitchen area, just above the rocket stove. That's the only window that we have in there that's not new. Yeah. Four sheets of quarter inch, so it'll be the wrap around all of the windows, and then to trim around the windows. Over here, we got the one by two that we'll be trimming the windows in. Everything needs to be stained and... Is this for the kitchen, gear? Yes. Oh, okay. And it's not wide enough, that's why you need to glue it together? Yes. Looks pretty good together now, huh, Gary? Yeah. Well, we've given this thing enough time to dry. We have some more work to do, but we'll get her all unwrapped and probably have to work on some sanding. So now what's the next steps? The next steps now is to cut it the length that'll fit inside the windowsill. And then I have to kind of trim it back a little bit for the attachment to the sink. I have a little bit of a ridge here. I want to bring that down to flush. And it's kind of bowed a little bit, so I'll take a little bit off the two edges here to kind of flatten it out. We took a trip to Kentucky and we just got back. We did. All the doggies are super happy to see us. The baby hasn't been born just yet, so we, we're here now we're good, for that. Good on that. But the aquaponics kind of was a different story. Kind of went through what, a, a cropopolis? An apocalypse? apocalypse for fish. Let's go check it out, shall we? Yeah. I, I don't know if you'll notice this or not, but there's actually less water in here than there is ordinarily. We had a clog happen, it overflowed everywhere. You leave for five minutes, you know. So. Oh, well this one's still full. Yeah. It is. It's almost half the water, but. Hey, is yeah. that water warm coming out? It's almost 60 right now in the tank. Wow. Well, after more investigation, I'm pretty sure there's no fish in here. It's from what my brother was saying, he said it was a really cold night. That's what ended up clogging up the pipe was one of the fish, and it ended up overflowing. Either they're moving really fast and I just can't catch them because I can't see where I'm going, but I think we might have, <laughs> we lost them. We're hoping that be some more in here though. Water's there, warm enough. There is a chance that there could be. I mean the water, yeah, it's like 59, which is really good. We are headed to Kentucky to see some family. Pretty exciting. We headed into Berea to check out all of the cool sites. We started at the Boom Tavern. It's all the, you know, like, where's the beer and stuff because it's a tavern. It's not a hotel, is what that used to mean. These are the, the different people that stayed in this hotel that we're at right now and also spoke in that college. Really Henry cool. Ford, Robert Frost, the Dalai Lama. This hotel is a part of Berea College. Which we discovered was a very unique place. The students over the, over the course of the 100 years or so, this hotel's been here made all of the furniture and the rooms here. It's really cool. All of the history and you know hands that have helped make this place go. It's really cool. So this building over here is a fully green dorm, so it's energy efficient, all kinds of fun stuff over there. So this is the front of the building. Um, I don't know if you can see the clock in the front here. It's actually a sundial. Kind of funny, you see all the solar on everything. They say that the, the people that keep the you know college running and stuff, they'll get their tuition, you know, it's for more lower income because you work for your tuition, right? They go on, they get successful jobs and they like to give back to the college and that's what kind of keeps this place running. There are chives everywhere. Yes. There's another chive so right here many. behind you. This one right here. We're out hiking, I'm like, 
Bryson, these are chives. And I guess they are. They're everywhere. And What's they're so good. funny is we're growing them in our Yeah, aquaponics. that's the only reason why I knew what they were. I, I picked it up. I was like, this looks like a chive. And I spilled it. I'm like, this is a chive. I probably shouldn't eat chives by the side of the walk. Yeah, <laughs> folks come from all over the world to go to college here. When you watch the people here talk about their town, how much pride you know they have in the place that they live, seeing that is, is really neat. Uh, we are going through a lot of these shops, seeing all kinds of things that people are making is oh, it's just phenomenal. Love this. This is nice. I feel so butterfly. -y. Go over here and you can see the uh, dragonflies. So we'll probably make a dragonfly stove. Do ones with hummingbirds. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, thanks, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> From knitted hats to woodworking sawhorse, lots of creativity here. We found two challenges for Garen. A rocking horse that's like a rabbit, it was woodworked. And then also I found a chair that's metal and it looks like a butterfly. It's so cool. Getting our creative juices rejuvenated. <laughs> so you're just learning how to do the loom thing? Yes, I just learned it today. My friend taught me. Oh, she was on this, yeah. That is so cool. All over Berea, you'll find hands that are reaching up, and those hands signify the work of those students over the years that this has been here. Kind of fun, this is cool. cool fish. Is this it, Harry? <laughs> wow. This is absolutely beautiful. You're gonna take this down, aren't you? This wooden thing? That's coming down, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, now, I know that it won't fit all the way in there because these kind of turn a little bit, but I would like to dry fit it against the window. Okay. It'll be okay there, and there. doing this until it fits, huh? Yeah, you just take a little bit off each time. Then you get a nice tight fit. Closer. You got it. Oh, is it gonna come over like that? Or is huh? it gonna be under? The shelf, is it coming over the sink like that? Yeah. Ooh, I like that. That's beautiful. And then I'll block this in with a little trim piece underneath here. Okay. Now it's kind of an empty tank. We don't have any livestock in there, so it's a little bit easier because now we don't have to worry about pH. We can just focus on temperature, which is what I really wanted to focus on. It's the one thing that's been out of control that I can't seem to nail down. Let's go ahead and look back at the heater. Okay, in my defense, my thought was this. But you make those solar ovens and you try to only heat the pot of food inside of a solar oven so everything else is supposed to be reflective. That's what I was kind of thinking here. What I didn't think of is you want the whole thing to heat up. And the only way you can get heat is with a black surface when light hits it and the more absorption gets more heat. So you're right, I gotta paint black. Temperature of just normally in this tank currently is 45 degrees. Temperature of the heater coil right now is about five degrees more. So it's warming the water by about five degrees. So let's see what kind of improvement we get. See if we can raise that number by painting it black. Hey, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Bullet! His favorite toy. No wonder you couldn't find your Frisbee. Oh my goodness. I don't throw things unless he brings me the Frisbee. It's just, it's just, I gotta do it. <laughs> You've got those black things that hold the class in. Yep. That's pretty cool. And you can get to it easier if you have it. Ooh, it's scary. Is it? Yeah. It's your horse. That looks like a horse? Oh, it does. The little ears here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna paint the hose too because the hose is it's more reflective. We all know flats generate more heat. Says the guy who didn't paint his <laughs> heater black. Hey, 
It actually looks like a solar heater now. <laughs> You're supposed to, you uh, don't do this one. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a little crutch, crutch picking tick tock. In the sweet. I'm Warren May. We're here in Berea, Kentucky. Been here 43 years, uh, crafting and making Appalachian Mountain Kentucky dulcimers and really fine handmade furniture and a few accessories. But uh, I guess my main lifetime passion has been making the instruments. I make uh, dulcimers from native woods, walnut, cherry, poplar. My objective is to make my instruments easy enough for anyone to play. No technical experience necessary. Most people want to play music and enjoy music. Dulcimer gives you a chance to do that without all the worry and fuss of trying to play a guitar or you know read notes read music or anything you can have fun playing by yourself or with other instruments i do hand make the instruments all the way from the raw wood and uh here's a beautiful piece of curly cherry from a few years back but you can see the the shape of the dulcimer then i started sawing the top and back from this piece here but what a pretty piece of wood some of the wood i use is as much as 50 or 75 years old not necessarily recycled wood Wood from other woodworkers and other sources that just never was used. But the older the better, and, uh, and I've used wood even up to 200 years old. And it really is more magical in its tone. That's all your 50s, all your high school romance songs, all your... Uh, Where have all the flowers gone? When I saw that dulcimer made by Warren A. May, the face of it having those hummingbirds, and then to come to find out that the wood that it was made from came out of a really old jail from the town of Liberty, which is like, I don't know, maybe an hour or so out of Berea. It had so much history, and it was calling to me when I saw it. I'll just drink you all the way I am. Down home in Berea, Kentucky. We'll be closing out our shop here after 43 years. We have a farmstead about five miles out. I will be continuing making dulcimers uh, specifically and marketing most of those on my website and Facebook site. I'm still gonna try to do that for as many years as I can. That's the most beautiful wood I've ever had in my career. But you probably will have to call us to place the order. We won't have any automatic ship out carts or carts to fill up or anything. All right, well, thank you very much. I appreciate you very much for your time. You're welcome. Best okay, of luck you. with it. All those were that same, 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 same rhythm. And it's just a great jamming song. You can just play for hours just jamming on the guitar whatever it is to which you We're gonna get started here on some staining. Pretty excited to get that going. The idea here is it will stain. This is golden pecan. It's one of Shelly's favorites. And then we're gonna use some spar varnish as my covering to coat it, because it will be near the water of the sink. I prefer if it's gonna splash, it splash on something that will be able to repel the water. And then I'll probably give it a little quick sand and another quick coat, and that might be enough to give this a pretty good protection. Time for the install. Brie and I felt a little bit bad for Bryson. Get back from vacation and the things are not working like he wanted them to. Yeah, unfortunately all the stuff that he's worked so hard to do, it's kind of come to a head. Brie and I decided, you know, we need to get in here and give him a boost. So we thought up some ideas. Brie found these tiles. There'll be a little bit of storing of heat. We're gonna go ahead and put these tiles down and then we'll paint them black. And then he wants to store it up in the air. I'm gonna help him get that done. And, uh, and so we can move on to the next phase of this, whatever that is. Mm -hmm. So 
since we got it, we were like, well, we gotta go see where this wood came from. So we all hopped in the car. We're gonna be uh, off on a venture today to try to find the jail that the wood was taken out of to build this dulcimer, Liberty, Kentucky. So that is where we're headed today. It was likely that Jesse James at one time was jailed there. You never know. <laughs> it might still be a working jail. <laughs> it, it's Liberty, it can't be that big of a city, so we'll just drive around a couple times and we might bump right into it. it we're looking for something that doesn't have any lumber in it. We're in Casey County now. This is the county which this wood came out of from the dulcimer. Hopefully we'll see a jail somewhere. Be looking around, we are guys. On the epic quest and search for timber! <laughs> All right, so we've been informed behind this big building, there's a jailhouse where the dulcimer came from. All right, so let's go check it out. Dulcimer would be useful for right about now. So maybe a little a little fire it's just cold. started on up. It's freezing. We can ask them where they put the rest of the wood. and <laughs> be like, yo, you still got that? It looks a little different, though. Don't it? I don't think that looks like the picture. Do we put the wood back? We were told that, that the county jail was built here in this original location and that they had torn it down sometime in the 80s and that this new Casey County Detention Center has replaced that old jail. Cool, once you started talking about the history of the town or whatever to people, mm -hmm. they would just light up with excitement. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited to tell someone about this. Like, they were very excited about it. Yes, for sure. We are hopefully going to be able to talk to the jailer. They were involved with the first jail that was here that the dulcimer was made out of. He's going to be right over here in the, the judicial center. And the original jail was built in 1845. It was the second jail built for the city. It was torn down in 1987. The wood that came from that was sold off in, back in the 80s. That's where the wood came from for the dulcimer. So. Mm -hmm. That front part that you see in the picture, all those rooms were common rooms. And then the actual jail cells were in the back of the building. Boys on top and girls down low. Stairs and downstairs. So and nothing's there to go look at, right? No. no. Nope, nothing's okay. left. It was almost home. Was but now we need to figure out where was the tree, where, where was the last <laughs> stump. We were just walking and dad was like, yeah, we should probably take the crosswalk. We don't want to be put in the holding cell. And apparently they used to call that drunk tank. Because there was 14 beds in there. <laughs> <laughs> We got that tile all painted and then Bryson got it mounted up in the air. He's been wanting to mount it up so that it can catch more sunlight. It looks pretty cool up there, I think. Looks like it was made for that. I really think out of all the things that are gonna help warm that water up, it is definitely gonna be those tiles. Yeah, that the were black painted. tiles, that was just like the, the thing that just <laughs> sent it over the top. Yeah. So. <sighs> You're welcome, Bryson. <laughs> and granted, he's done all the work. All we've done is slightly <laughs> modify it. But if this modification works, He's never gonna hear the end of it. Mm -hmm. That's all I gotta say. Wait a minute. <laughs> if my thing is 90% of that. And what are you trying it, to say? And yeah. it out there and it works. I just gotta say that 90% of my idea actually worked. Yeah, I don't know. I yeah, think but it's it, the final 10% that really matters, don't you, Mama? Well, it, it really won't matter because even if it's only 1%, he, we will not let him hear no, that. No, we had a percentage, <laughs> uh, a part of it. That's really what matters. <laughs> Wow, what is that? It's patchwork. All gets covered up. <laughs> it's a shimmy. <laughs> this turned out so beautiful, didn't it, Gary? Fantastic. I'm just really, really loving it. It's unbelievable. Just when I think the kitchen could not get any nicer, any prettier, and then it does. You know what else? I love the way the wood brings out these. Butcher blocks. Yeah, the butcher blocks. They tie in really super nice that way too. <clears throat> Excellent job, Gary. Thank you. Just so pleased. You do good, good work. Not bad for a guy who- Smells like a cookie. <laughs> In our desert, we have rivers, they're marked, they're named. We do. There is no water in our creeks and rivers. I know that doesn't make sense, but it's literally like sand. Every time we see the word creek, we're like, yeah, okay. And then we look down, we're like, oh, there's water in it. Oh, look, guys, water. 
That is exciting. Hey, did you see that fish jump? Bryson was like, yeah, it probably doesn't flow all year. Our parents are like, you know, it's not normal for creeks and rivers <laughs> not to flow. Like, you know that, right? And we're like, ha good one. So, uh, <laughs> that's where we're off to now. We're gonna go see a lake. It's called Lake Liberty. Ooh. Ooh. I like it. It's where the statue is. <laughs> okay, Dad, turn's coming up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah right there. Oh, really? Okay, now oh, you're gonna go. This is like a European this road. Kentucky Freeway right here, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, look, guys, a lake. Yeah. <laughs> we just drove through it. We just drove through that lake. Amazing. <laughs> That's an Arizona lake. You turn right. Oh, you turn right? Or no, far? you don't go right. You don't go right. <laughs> <laughs> this you way. back up. Back up. Not this forward. Not this forward. It says to go down <clears> this road. <throat> okay, so we're going. Does this thing have four wheel drive? No, it's the wrong road. Oh, we are no. going off path. Right here in this in little gap, maybe? Car. Sorry, car rental place. <laughs> <laughs> oh is, no. This is somebody's house on the lake, Bryson. I feel so bad. Oh now. no. I'm sorry. I don't what? Know oh. Is this good enough for the lake? Can we go now? <laughs> this is embarrassing. You're coming you out the right door here. with a shotgun. Okay. Yeah, this blue dot is terrible. Do not follow it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Google, for getting us lost again. Thanks, Lola. The lake is to the right over there. I feel a lake on this road. It's feeling uh -huh. very well, lakey. I was going to go, whoops, private keep out. <laughs> the nerve of some people wouldn't let us cut through their house right to the, <laughs> to the lake, you know what I mean? Some yeah. people are so entitled. <laughs> <laughs> it actually ends literally at the lake. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, isn't this a boat? <laughs> We had a really great trip. It was very special to learn about that part of Kentucky. Thank you so much, Troy and Christy, Zane and Ashton as well. It was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun, a Very yeah. uh, special trip. And now every time I play my new dulcimer, I'll be reminded of this really special trip we had together. I like that part too. We should try four part firing with Bryce on the low end. Well, that wraps up this week. The design of the week is this dulcimer. If you'd like to get it on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, tote bag, hoodie, all kinds of wonderful products over in our merch shop, as well as all of the designs that we've done throughout the weeks, you can check out the link down in the description. We have a sale running on the merch shop that's 20% off of everything now through tomorrow. So if you'd like to pick up something for a great price, now is the time. Thank you so much for being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you next week. Week. Bye! So apparently behind this big building, there's a jail cell where the death, de there's a, blah, 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 blah. we're not made, I'm sorry. It was where the wood came from. <laughs> you were we're flying across the US. It occurs to me that we might be ruining people's footage because I don't know how many times we've had to stop because an airplane is going over. <laughs> family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. And I was playing with cards with them and I was just kind of talking like this and then I was like, oh wow, well, that's not me. There it is, oh wow. Oh my goodness, oh my cow, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my that's, it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's the refine. Oh, oh, my, oh my lordy, oh my, oh my lordy. lordy. Oh my Starting to talk like a real my more southern goodness. bell. Oh, you fun kids, oh my god. I, I know Ellie's mom used to go, oh my cows. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be like, oh, Linda! <laughs> <laughs> Language! <laughs>